Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this panel on the Quebec uh, Student Union structure, the Quebec Student Movement and how we strike in Quebec. Uh, I'm going to start with an explanation of the student unions and how they're formed in, uh, in Quebec. I'm going to follow up with the RAND formula, which is a fundamental concept in the whole uh, union world in Quebec. Uh, well, there, there are some exceptions that for some unions that doesn't apply to the rent formula, IWWs are an example of structure that doesn't uh, work with the rent formula, but most of the unions in Quebec and student unions work with this formula. It's uh, an essential concept to understand, uh, to understand the basics. Uh, Richard's going to follow up with a brief history uh, from 1960 to our days of what happened in the student movement and uh, Frank and I are going to finish with how we strike in Quebec and uh, how, how everything is done. Uh, if you have any questions because we're not uh, using the right words, the right concepts, or just because our English sounds like dying whale. <laughs> <laughs> Just raise your hand and we'll, we'll answer the, your question as soon as, at, at the best of our capacities. First of all, uh, we're all uh, University of Laval students like, uh, I don't remember your name, like you said. Uh, we yeah. study in the social sciences. Francois and uh, Caroline are anthropology students. They are involved in the whole ASSE movement, uh, a movement, a national movement we're going to explain later. Richard is uh, completing his master's in uh, political sciences. And he's also, um, uh, he's also working part-time for our student uh, union. And I'm uh, Simon, I'm an industrial relations student, and I'm also involved in uh, the IWW and the Starbucks um, Unionization Whoa, what? process. Yeah. So, uh, I'll start by explaining how uh, the scholarship goes in Quebec because it's it's a unique way of of doing the scholarship. We start with high school, like you have, but it's only a five year uh, a five year uh, process, and then we have the session. CEGEP has a more humanist approach of teaching things. It's a two years uh, scholarship and it involves lots of philosophy and um, like I said, humanist approach of, uh, of the whole society. Uh, CEGEP is almost free. Uh, that's a thing we're proud of and it's an introduction to university. And university, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing as it is in, uh, in the United States. It's three years to get your bachelor's diploma and then master's and etc. I'm not sure it works that way, but that's how university works here uh, in Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that after? Is that like when you're 18, you go to Sejep? Uh, when you're 17, you go to Sejep. Okay. And is it two years? Yeah, that's two years. Then yeah. you, you get in university at 19, usually. Um, how uh, how we organize in universities is kind of uh, oh, there's a question. Oh, I just have one question. about Jeff? Is so Jeff more like a university where you live there, or is it like a high school where you just attend? It's more like university, but it's a mix of of both. It's like the transition between high school and university. And some people can just uh, complete a CEGEP uh, scholarship and they can work after that, like if they have some particular uh, uh, knowledge. So how we organize in university is kind of complicated. I wrote these down, but it's, it's not uh, ap applicable to all of the, uh, the universities in Quebec. This is the main example and it's gonna wrap the whole thing up. At the base of the, of the student movement, there's the individu individuals. Individuals are regrouped by programs. Programs can be 
uh, politics, accounting, uh, industrial relations, anthropology, sociology. These are programs. Then these programs are regrouped by faculties. These faculties regroup uh, programs in the, in the same uh, type of uh, science. So there's uh, social sciences, uh, engineering, teaching. So this is the second level. And then we have the campus. Our campus is University Laval. And these campus regroup on national associations with CEGEPs. With CEGEPs have the almost the same structure, but they're more concentrated on that type of uh, structure. The main point about all of this is that all these things are student unions. All these groups work as unions. They, they are formed as different types of unions. They all have their particular goals, like campus uh, unions um, have a, a more uh, service approach. They give services to their members, uh, any type of service, defending rights or just having a bar. These are all kind of services campus associations give to their students. Then we have faculties. There's two types of uh, faculty associations. Some also give services like the campus associations, bars again, or just uh, help with the studies and stuff like that. And some other faculties, like ours, are uh, political faculties. Political, um, not in the way that we would, that you think about uh, studied governments. We don't have political uh, uh, grounds. We just defend. Uh, the student movements on political uh, on a political basis, and then uh, the programs are party unions. They deal with the members on a day-to-day -day basis. This is where the mobilization is done, and this is where uh, the real contact with the students is made. And to have all this structure work, we have in Quebec the rent formula. The, I explained to you at the beginning what the rent formula meant. It's the basics of the, the union structure. In the 70s, when, um, when there was lots of strikes and lots of uh, anger in the working movement and in the, the student movement, the judge rent created a structure for unions to base, to base on. Basically, it says that when a union is created, the members decide dem democratically what, are, what fees they're going to pay to the union. And at this point, the union has the obligation of defending the members' rights and working for their members. This, this rent formula also applies to individuals, because individuals have to pay their fees. It can be monthly, annually, it can be the members decided, but they can have their, their uh, cotizations, their fees, they can have it back at any time. But if they take their um, fees back from the union, they can't vote in the structure anymore. They're still protected by the union, but their right to vote uh, they, they lose their right to vote in, in the union. Uh, that completes the, the explanation of how the structure uh, in Quebec works in student unions.